The cessation of the London Interbank Offered Rate Publication, or LIBOR, is an unprecedented event in the global markets. There has never been a wholesale discontinuation of a benchmark index that in the case of LIBOR has been the interest rate calculation benchmark for many debt instruments for decades. This shift from LIBOR is primarily because the values of monies changing hands overnight by the panel of banks who determine the LIBOR is not nearly representative of the value of debt that use the benchmark. A lot of folks call this the inverse pyramid, where several hundred million dollars in overnight loans creates the means to value several hundred trillion dollars worth of assets when you consider derivatives, cash loans, and debt securities that point to LIBOR globally. This inverse pyramid led to the creation of the Secured Overnight Financing Rate, or SOFR, by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and a committee they formed to assist in the creation called the Alternative Reference Rates Committee, or the ARC. The SOFR is a fully transaction-based rate that reflects $1 trillion of daily transactions of Treasury securities. When the UK's Financial Conduct Authority, or FCA, announced the retirement of LIBOR several years ago, this essentially put US debt securities into two camps. Securities with fallback language and pre-cessation triggers in their indentures, and securities that are considered tough legacy, meaning that they were issued prior to the FCA's mandate and had no fallback language or pre-cessation triggers in their indentures. As a result, firms need to review their contracts and determine whether those contracts include fallback language, stipulating the index to use in the LIBOR's absence. There may be hundreds of thousands of securities that have legacy contracts based on the LIBOR rate, and those securities will have no published index to use for their interest rate calculations, pricing or valuations come June 30th 2023. To help address this issue and others related to the LIBOR transition, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and the ARC formed a subcommittee made up of senior professionals within the industry called the Operations and Infrastructure Committee, or the ARC-OI. DTCC has been an active member of the ARC-OI since the committee was formed. While working closely with the ARC-OI and other industry organizations and experts, we were able to compile requirements for a centralized process to capture and disseminate standardized benchmark replacement information needed for both these legacy contracts and contracts with fallback language. DTCC's LIBOR Replacement Index Communication Tool System creates a streamlined and efficient process for issuers, agents, trustees or any party or determining person responsible for the dissemination of the new benchmark replacement details to communicate with investors and the market. It leverages the legal notice system or LENS, a widely used DTC service, which focuses on disseminated information through a UI that has been connecting issuers and agents to their shareholders for over 20 years. DTC participants and other subscribers can use the service today to view information about the securities they hold at DTC and pass this information along to their beneficial owner clients. In addition, the solution also includes an output via automated data feeds from DTCC data services, enabling machine-to-machine -machine communication of standardized information intraday. Many key market data providers are now consuming this information and integrating it into their product offerings for wider distribution to the markets. The solution provides the industry with an efficient and standardized process to communicate critical information on over 100,000 debt securities, eliminating manual processes and therefore reducing operational risks. If issuers haven't started preparing for the LIBOR cessation on June 30th, they should start immediately. It is critical that they determine which securities are impacted and how the security information will be updated and shared. While firms may choose to update rate information themselves, the ARC and the ARC-OI have issued best practices that recommend leveraging what they have called the DTCC Enhanced Lens Solution for benchmark rate dissemination and notification.